This was last month. A North Korean soldier ran for his life across the border between North and South Korea, shot multiple times by his former comrades, critically injured, but he survived. Thursday, another North Korean soldier making the once very rare dash across the DMZ, one of the most heavily militarized borders on earth. This one is young, late teens or early 20s, low ranking and in custody being questioned according to South Korea's military. An hour and a half later, South Korean soldiers fired warning shots as soldiers from the north approached the military demarcation line looking for the defector. Shots from the north heard shortly after. Not direct military engagement, but worrying on such a tense border. Shin Ing-kyun, a national security expert, says South Korea's propaganda broadcasts on the border may encourage defections. He describes how risky an escape is. There would be a North Korean chase team who will open fire immediately, he says. So there's the challenge of coming over without detection. And when they reach our side, they need to cross steel fences. They ring bells and radios to let us know they're there. And there's a danger of being shot by their comrades while trying to notify us. Zhang Yongjin defected across the DMZ in 1997 as a soldier he had served along the border. He wrote a book on his experience describing the escape as gambling with his life. Looking back on his defection Thursday, he described eight guard posts he had to get by before even reaching the border. At the fourth guard post, he tells me, not even an ant can pass by. A cliff on one side, the sea on the other. I was caught, but I managed to escape. When I reached the first of three fences, I was electrocuted. He says I later learned it was 10,000 volts. I was lucky to survive. Chang says there was probably a mine every three to four steps. Soldiers often stepped on them by accident, losing a foot or leg. He says he has no idea how he missed them all. Despite the risks, four North Korean soldiers have defected through the DMZ this year alone. Compare that to four over the past five years before that. And experts say that for those soldiers who didn't prevent the defection, they would be punished and replaced. Paula Hancock's CNN Seoul.